Another pain relief option is an epidural. An epidural aims to provide you with total pain relief, a pain-free labour, that's the idea behind it. Pain relieving drugs are used to numb the nerves to your back and the uterus and the surrounding muscles that transmit pain to your brain. It's done on the labour ward by an anaesthetist, which is a doctor that specialises in managing pain. With an epidural, there is a consent process, so the benefits and the risks will be explained to you. You will need a drip in your hand or your arm, and with an epidural, it's a case of putting a fine tube, a catheter, into your back where the nerves are, using a hollow needle. You may feel a little scratch or a sting, but you shouldn't feel more than this. And the hollow tube is fixed in place, and during labour, pain relieving drugs are administered through this tube to keep the pain away. There are some side effects to having an epidural. Sometimes it isn't 100% effective, it's partially effective. You're left with an area that you can still feel the discomfort in. Occasionally, an epidural can lower your blood pressure. And that's why we have a drip in your arm, so that we can correct this if it happens. Some women experience difficulties in passing urine when they have an epidural in place. We might have to put a catheter in to empty your bladder for you. With an epidural, labour can sometimes slow down then we need to use some drugs to make the contractions become more effective and more frequent again. There is a slight risk that you would need an assisted vaginal birth when you have an epidural. As far as backache is concerned, there is no evidence that an epidural will cause long-term backache. Epidurals are sometimes advisable. Sometimes the doctors will encourage you to have an epidural for different reasons. For example, if your blood pressure is very high, 